This is Mr. Ye. Today, we are going to learn more about pressure. At the end of this session, you should be able to first explain what pressure means in terms of force and area. Second, recall and use the formula pressure equals to force divided by area to solve problems. Recall. A force is defined as either a push or a pull that one object exerts on another object. What is pressure? How is it different from force? What is pressure? Pressure is defined as the force acting per unit area. Pressure is measured in Pascal or Newton per meter squared. Force is measured in Newtons. Area is measured in meter squared. Pressure is used when comparing the effect of forces acting on a surface. The two cylinders shown below have the same weight, but different base areas. We are more interested in the force exerted per unit area than the weight of each cylinder. Can you think of reasons why? Pressure is useful if we want to know whether a surface can take the load placed on it. The pressure due to a 10 Newton load placed on a 4 cm squared base area It will be 2.5 Newton per cm squared. While the pressure due to a 10 Newton force on a 2 cm squared base area, the pressure will be 5 Newton per cm squared. This will give a better idea of whether the surface is overloaded. The pointed tip of a thumbtack and the cutting edges of scissors blades have small surface area in order for the force exerted per unit area to be maximized. Why does a bulldozer have caterpillar wheels? As the weight of a bulldozer is very large, caterpillar wheels are used to increase the surface area in contact with the ground so that the force per unit area is minimized. This is useful when the bulldozer moves over soft ground. Last but not least, we are going to do a work example. A rectangular block of butter of dimensions 10 cm by 4 cm by 3 cm have a density of 870 kg per meter cube. Calculate its weight, the maximum possible pressure that acts when 
placed on the horizontal surface, the minimum possible pressure, the x, when placed on a horizontal surface. Please take note of the units. SI units should be used as much as possible. So A, we calculate the volume by multiplying the length by the breadth by the height of the butter. So we'll get 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter cube. Mass is obtained by density multiplied by volume. And we'll get 0 0.104 kilogram. Therefore, weight will be 0 0.104 kilogram multiplied by 10 and we'll get 1.04 Newton. B. We will find the maximum possible pressure, the X, when placed on a horizontal surface. Maximum pressure X when the butter rests on the surface with the smallest area. Surface of smallest area will be 1.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 3 meter squared. Therefore, maximum pressure will be force divided by area equals to 1.04 Newton divided by 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter squared. And we will get 867 Pascal. Minimum pressure X when the butter rests on the surface with the largest area. Surface of largest area will be 0 0.1 meter multiplied by 0 0.04 meter and we will get 4 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter squared. Therefore, minimum pressure will be force divided by the surface with the largest area which it, which will get 1.04 newton divided by 4 to the power of negative 3 meter squared. We will obtain 260 Pascal. Thank you.